Look at the increase in drug and alcohol use over the last 15 months. We see an increase in overdose fatalities by almost 30%, and the same for suicides and deaths of despair. We're losing way too many of our loved ones for us to do nothing right now. Not only does Phoenix need to step up, but communities need to step up. We have to do this together. The Phoenix is a healing community for people who have been impacted by a substance use disorder. So we all need healing, and when we come together, we can, we can help each other. As a clinician, I've just seen so many things get in the way of people trying to, to rebuild their lives, and I just think Phoenix is something innovative, new, and transformational. What matters is the action of coming together, the act of coping, the, the, the engaging with other people. I always like to say that people show up for the workout, but they're really staying for the friendships. And it's in those friendships that they find the support they, they need to, to stay sober. Early on in the Phoenix, we really focused on physical activity, adventure sports. It wasn't so much about the weightlifting or the bike, it was the fact that we were sharing that experience together. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling good or what? The Phoenix's yoga, it's art, it's hiking, it's music, it's really anything that brings people together in a meaningful way. It's kind of unique about Phoenix is that often folks struggling with substance use disorder are really seen as the problem, but we see them as the solution. And that self-esteem ember that's kind of smoking, if, if we can just give it a little more oxygen and help it catch fire, then they're gonna be their own solution and ultimately pull other people with them.